And we are back, hello ladies and gentlemen, for more Super Mario 64. So, playing last time, we completed Boo's Haunted House, which um, I think that's the right name for level. So, we also defeated Bowser, and it's time to head into the basement proper. On this playthrough, we will hopefully get ourselves the green and blue caps. And at the very least, complete world 6 and 7, which is Hazy Maze Cave and Lethal Lava Land. But first, we'll have to meet a little chappy around this corner. It's Mips the Bunny! And this rather crude collection of polygons actually has a story. Oh, we got it. Good. Yep, so Mips, the name comes from the Nintendo developers because the processor in the N64 is an NEC VR4300 4300 and the version that itself is a sort of scaled down well that's the wrong word to use it's more a budget version of the R4300 which is a 64-bit processor by MIPS uh, that was the company that did it, the MIPS 4300 and that's the processor which the N64 CPU was based on, hence they gave that rabbit the name Mips, which was a test character, just, I think it was supposed to be, along with Mario, the very first character created in Mario 64, and the developers became so fond of it that he stayed in the game. Right, so, we got a bone star of Mips, and this is, I believe, Hazy Maze Cave? Easy Maze Cave. I'll just go quiet for a second so you can enjoy this music and recognise it. Ah, the classic Super Mario Brothers Underworld theme. It's nice that it's actually in this. Because I don't think the proper Mario theme, Super Mario Brothers theme, is in the game apart from the title screen where you play with Mario's face, which sounds far less innocent than it is. And there's our first star in Hazy Maze Cave, and we have hit number 40. Which means we could actually go fight Bowser now. Or actually, I think you might only need 30 to go fight Bowser. Oh, how could I... I was so busy talking about MIPS, we didn't even mention that effect. That is... At the time the game came out, that was mind-blowing. It was the most amazing thing you'd seen in a console game. Oh, there's another side note before I jump in. If these pipes look familiar, a very, very similar texture was also used in the tunnels in Wave Race 64. That was even pointed out in an issue of N64 magazine. Oh, before we go in again, also, you, give me the star, Toad. Do 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 Thank you. Castle Secret Star. Yeah, it must have been 30 stars to get to the new... the second Bowser battle. Elevate for 8 red coins. Whee! Oh, I should have turned down the volume on the laptop. Yeah. 
blame the camera for that, but it's as much of my fault as anything else. The camera didn't help me. Should I make this the 100 coin run? I certainly could. See as I'm getting all these anyway. I might not get the... Yeah. No, 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 that way. <laughs> right, okay. Got away with it. I'll save a hundred coins for a little bit later. Coins are actually quite limited on this level, I do believe. Floor 2. Look at the popping on those dots which mark the path the platform will take. Mario can move. Right, well, I can't actually get that one yet because I haven't got the green cap yet. So, what will I do? I think I'll make this the 100 coin run and activate the metal Mario cap. Which is a... Whoa! No! Stay right there, coin. Stay right there. Oh, thank God for that. They're very scarce on this one. Right, so I'm going to go this way first. Get all the coins from sort of this section, which unfortunately means I'm going to be getting the red coins again right now. And then we'll go back to where Nessie and the metal cap is, and hopefully in that room's where I'll hit the hundred coins. Come here. God's sake, don't accidentally collect that. And this way. Drop down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Glitching out. Whoa. There we go. And it's toxic. Oh, look. It's a, sh it's a sniff it. That's what I was looking for. Oof. Machine gun sniff it. Actually, um, shout out. Monty Moles as well. God, all these old enemies. But actually, uh, when you think about it, shy guys are in this game as well in the form of uh, fly guys with a propeller on the head, which means, I think, Mario 64 is the first time uh, Sniffets and shy guys appeared in a proper Mario game. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, good, we got them all. Mystery door! Don't really want to go this way, but there's some coins involved. Uh, hello. There you go. Yeah, because of course Shy Guys and Sniffits were from Super Mario Bros. 2. Or at least the Western version of Super Mario Bros. 2. Which was a reskin version of a Japanese game, which I think off the top of my head was called Doki Doki Panic. Which is nothing to get too worried about because it was still a game that, you know, Nintendo made and Shigeru Miyamoto was involved. But it wasn't a true Mario game, at least not really. <laughs> but it was still very good in its own right. Yikes! Anyway, I was saying. Shy Guy Sniff it. First time in a full mainstream Mario game. Probably. Give me your coins before I die from the gas. Come on, little bats. Oh, man. They've gone, they've gone, and I can't find them. Is that another exit? Oh, there, there's nothing up that one, I think. And they've respawned. Good. No, oh, that's so bad. Camera! Stop telling me you can't go there. Oh, bugger, I know where there's one, one coin and <laughs> still, it's not worth it. Right. Now we head back to where Nessie was. Ooh, actually, ooh, no, that's the right one. This will function as a kind of shortcut. That doesn't sound entirely innocent, Mario. Ooh, getting panicky about edges now. Right, so, thankfully, that's a hundred coins. Unless something goes catastrophically wrong here. Still could. Ooh. And breathe. Yay. Here we go. Saved by Mario's belly. Still turning right, I'm looking this way. Not the most finessed controls to grace a Mario game, and now I need to get back on her head. I assume it's a she. Right, that's the doors I want. Hang on, if I do this... If I do this, I'll lose my coin score. Uh, oh, well, there's not a 
damn it. <laughs> right, Metal Cat Mario. It's T1000 Mario. Actually, I've made a mistake here. I want to get out of the water. So this water has a very fast current. Ooh. Ow. Maza Punch. Ooh, extra life. There's a strong current, which means to get some of the red coins, you need to be Metal Cap Mario. Or Metal Mario is the what we just call him now. There we go. Uh, I've got to drop off. Right. Ooh, some nice shiny diamond things. Some more metallic than jewelry, but never mind. I suppose it could be chunks of aluminium or something like that. There we go. Do 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 do. Way. Here we go. That saves some time because it throws her back out in the basement. Yeah. I say only a hundred coins. I didn't. I had hundred and seventeen. Right, so Metalhead Mario can move. This is the first Metal Mario puzzle type star. Because it involves walking underwater. So we need to be heavy. Which, when you think about it, really forms the basis for the Iron Boots in Zelda. Uh, Ocarina of Time. That's essentially what this is. It's an Ocarina of Time Iron Boots puzzle. Going to jump up. Here we go. And there's forty five. So shiny. Ah, well, we've already been here, so we should be able to fly through it. Oop, not that way, this way. How do you dive into toxic gas? Like that. Right, this isn't, there's two exits here. One, of course, is just around here, I think. Let's put this one, because this is an obviously marked one. But there is another one that's more hidden, which I think I've already been along anyway. Here we go. Right, 
This one. The amazing emergency exit. So back to the maze and out through the less obvious exit. Right, now I don't have to worry about the gas. For whatever reason, Metal Mario doesn't have to breathe. And this is the door we were looking for. <sighs> and this will involve some monkey climbing, which I hate. I hate doing because he moves in a bit of an imprecise way and where starting to just seemingly let go completely randomly. The, those are a bunch of coins which you really don't want to be going for using to get 100 coins. Because you've got to go back. And there we go. Phew! Glad that one is done. Right. Uh, how many are left in there now? Last one. Oh, I, I remember. Of course, yes. What's for rolling rocks? I almost forgot. I had a bad feeling about jumping there. And we are done with Course 6, the Hazy Maze Cave. And we've got the green cap. Which is good as we move on to Lethal Lava Land. And this is one where you do not want to try and get 100 coins too early on because you can't do it. Well, you probably can, but it's far more difficult than it needs to be if you do it before the green shell appears. Right. The floor is, as they say, lava. Oop. Hot lava burns hotly. Cool. Super Mario Brothers 3 era Bowser. Whoa. Of course he's a... Uh, whoa. These enemies are the bullies, which... Damn. Have recently made a reappearance in certain new oh God, uh, Super Mario 3D World. I'm not sure about. Sorry, Super Mario 3D World U. Is that what's called? No, Super Mario 3D World. That's it. It doesn't have a U in the title. Oh God. Which is a bit weird, really, because it's not in 3D. I mean, the game is 3D, but you know, it's not the 3D effect like the 3DS game is, which is why it was called Mario 3D Land. Uh, anyway. First star down. Yes, bullies reappear in that game. There might have been some other ones since, but... Uh, off the top of my head, that's the first time they've been back since Mario 64. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments, because that's fantastic. Alright, 
Come over here, you little buggers. Uh oh. Get back with the flying kicks. Hey, we're at 50. God, we can open this door on the third floor. But of course you can't do it until you've got 70. This is probably the easiest set of red coins in the game. Oh yeah, hey! Flying through lethal lava land. This time we take a right. Actually, you know what? I could potentially just cheat this one. Uh oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Meant to be a long jump. can't quite get over that fence. So I should be rolling that log, but constructive ingenuity. Here we go. Choices. Right, into the volcano, and now I believe the green shell has finally spawned. Yes, it has. So let's go surfing and get ourselves a hundred gold coins. Copper shells are officially the toughest material known to mankind. Whoa. That was a bit too close for comfort. Hey, 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 camera, don't like you doing that. Switching to Mario camera. Ooh, I think if that had hit us, I would have lost the shell. Alright, I think that is all the coins lying around. That wasn't quite the best way to dismount, but never mind. Come hither! Uh-oh, not good. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've messed up badly. Oh, embarrassing. Right, let's try that again. Shell. Surf. Cooper Shell's hardest material known to man. Explains why Bowser never dies, etc, etc. Unless you count New Super Mario Brothers, where 
Bowser actually was set into the fire and... Ooh, I forgot about this one. Uh, yeah, it was set into the lava and uh, turned into dry Bowser. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Thank you. Which is an incredibly morbid direction for a Mario game to take. Stupid camera doing that there. Okie dokie. Sometimes you wish you could slow the shell down just a bit. Where those coins came from? I couldn't even see what I was doing. Right. Three, 63 coins and let's... No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Get in there. Thank you. Ooh, hang on. I'll get the wing cap actually. Whoa! That's not good. And the reason was because of this eye here, which is worth a nice cool five. And below it is a warp zone! Attack! Didn't work. We're not doing very well with the little bullies. He should have gone the other way. What? I wonder if it's linked to the direction Mario was facing at the time, which would be a bit strange, but not impossible. Right. Uh, this is not good. Lava, retreat, there we go. Oh. Didn't realise I hadn't been there yet. Bloody more coins. I'm not keen on how I get onto that. That's one way. Yay! Success! Come on, you. Little buddy. Hey. Ow. Mario. Master of violence. Okie dokie. I'm going to chance it. Yes. Ooh. Oof. Right, now we've got the wing cap and go into the volcano! And get the star we're actually supposed to be getting.
two stars in the volcano, one where we go that way, and we'll go for the first one where we go this way. Well, that's faster at least. I was never a fan of the volcano. I was never a fan of Lethal Lava Land, actually. Go, 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 go! Not gonna bother with you, mate. Hooray! Here we go! I suppose that leaves us with only one star here? I'm rather surprised if I'm totally honest. Yep. Let's see if we can take the shell straight in this time. Oh, one coin that I missed. Criminal. You know, when you look at the sort of technical specs of the N64, it's amazing how they managed to do so much with so little. And again, I suppose you can say similar things about the sort of, uh, what was it, the fifth generation of consoles. You could say the same about the fifth, con fifth generation consoles in general. Oh, all these coins I didn't get. There we have it, I believe that's the lot of them. Can't get that one until I got the blue cap. I can go back and get that one next video. Right, there we go. How are we doing for time? There we go, fly guy! Who was a playable character in Mario Power Tennis for the GameCube! Quicksand, instant death! So for goodness sake, avoid it like the plague. Right, where's that big old vulture? There he is. Reminds us of this character from, um, oh, this old, was it Looney Tunes? I think it might have been Looney Tunes, a Bugs Bunny cartoon, or a Daffy Duck one with a vulture. Shining atop the pyramid. I don't think we're going to get too far here before we have to call it time. Certainly not going to get 100 coins. Shining atop the pyramid, which is in this little cubby there. We stalled, we stalled, we ended up in the quicksand. Oh no. Okay, let's not do that. Oh, 
Oh. Destroying any of my attempts to look somewhat decent at this game. Come on, Mario! Oh. On top of it. Come on, Mazza. There we go. Here we go. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. <laughs> On the third star, and our best score is just one coin. Inside the ancient period, you know what? I think we'll make this our 100 coin run, so let's go for it. Gotta be really careful on that bit. Pokies are another good enemy for getting coins. I think they give you a five if you knock the head off. God save camera, there you go. But I don't want the blue coin to end up in the quicksand. Oh come on! No, I'm going to lose that coin. Oh, phew. Right, come here, Pokey. Yeah! Oh, no, it's done it again. <laughs> Almost went on the shell there. While he's heading away from the quicksand. Ow. It's it come down to a level where I can actually hit you. Don't be careful throwing this because this will just slide for miles unless you throw it into a pillar. Oh, again, coins ending up on the bloody roof. Right, that's a decent start. And this would probably be a good time to activate the cannon! That is, I believe, just an extra life, which is not worth dying for. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's not good. Instantly lose my cap. Nope, he's flown past. Phew. Ow. Come here. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you again. Oh, leave me alone. The line from Falco, I ain't your buddy. Go away. Yeah. 
thought I was almost going to fly there, but that would have been a bad idea. Jump for glory! Yay! Alright, I think there's not too many coins left for us to get outside of the pyramid. But you don't want to go into the pyramid unless you're absolutely sure of that. Which means let's get these red coins. Because once we go in, there's no coming out. Pull up! Pull up! Yeah! Alright, that's 60 coins, and I think that's... Oh! That fly guy's worth a couple. Oh no, oh, there's, there's some along the path into the pyramid, isn't there? But it's risky! Risky, but they are there. Here he comes. Hey, fly guy. No, 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 no. Oof. Well, I got one of them. Right, I'm just going to make sure there isn't any along these paths. Because there might be some along there. Yes, there is. Oh my god! Oh my god! Right. Oh shh! Ooh, too scary! Easy does it! Right, let's go in. This game sometimes so stressful. Ooh, extra life. All the Goombas, I see coins. <laughs> Not quite. That shadow was a lot smaller than the block. I'm just thinking I haven't seen a blue coin switch yet. I hope there's one in here. I mean, I might not need one, but it just always feels a bit better to have a blue coin. Oh, what's this? Extra life? Coins! Mario not grabbing onto the bars. I hate those things. Ooh. Right, try again. If we can actually climb up there. Ow. Oh dear. Come on, come on, come on. Had a boy, Mario. That's more like it. Squeak. 
squashed to death. Actually, that might not kill you getting squashed. Not the best way to jump on top, but we'll do. More overhead coins. I think what I might do is get the secret of the pyramid instead of the one for just climbing up it. Try to be f too clever. Yeah, actually, go through the heart, Mario. There we go. Oh, not those things. Leave me the hell alone. Uh. God, it is entirely too hot. I'll get the star at the top. It would be a bit awkward getting it on the slope. Now what I'm going to do is get the secrets, which is that star. I think the next one's about here. Then back over again. Oof. And straight down, more or less. Hang on, hang on, I've just seen the blue coin switch. Oh god. <sighs> just seeing as I saw it. Where the hell's it? Put the coins! Goody camera. Oh well, I got one of them, I suppose. Star from here. Oh, actually, should I just go get the cap now? That's too late now, isn't it? Uh, I'm here. So I'll nab this one quickly. And I do mean quickly. I'm going to take a shortcut. And we'll go get the blue cap, and then we will call that a session. that a bit. Oof, thankfully, these aren't a sort. These are a sort of sandy surface. Oh, uh, what the? Go 
Okay, I'm a bit confused now. I did stomp them all, didn't I? For whatever reason, that one didn't count. Hold on just a little longer. Yes, perfecto. Except for the fact that I had to do that one twice. And that was the shortcut, but have I? Yeah, there we go. stars and we'll now we'll get the blue cap and call it a session so the next start up oh, I can go get the last star from Joy Roger Bay and Big Boo's uh, haunted house this is a bittersweet moment because honestly I don't really like draining the moat because it doesn't look as nice There goes all the water. And then the moat is all empty for the rest of time and it looks nasty and bleh. Vanish cap. Of course it means it's got its own red coin star thing. Right, go straight down get the extra life because I'm not bothered about that question block. That hurt a bit. Oh no! Oh, you had to do a headbutt instead of just. You know, you had to do a dive instead of just a kick, maybe. Oh, right. Thankfully, this isn't too long. I should never have to do it the second time anyway. Oof, too close. Hesitate. Whoa. Oof, whoop an egg. And that is a wrap. Here we go. Thanks for joining us for another episode, and we will resume sometime soon. Ciao, everybody. Adios. Farewell. Bye.